So if you've got a Crown Victoria Grand Marquis or Lincoln Town car, and it does this issue with the turn signals when you turn them on and it starts flashing like crazy, normally that means you have a bad bulb. You walk around your car to try and figure out which bulbs are out and all four of them appear to be working fine. Like I said, that side can burn out and then you'll have this issue where the car thinks the entire bulb's burned out and that's not the case. So if you have this issue, what you're gonna have to do is I would just replace all the bulbs. You can get these 10 packs off of Amazon for cheap. And let's see here, this particular size, 3157LL, that's the size you're gonna wanna use. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the rear turn signal bulbs in your Crown Victoria or any other Panther car, not hard to do. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, of course, is to gain access to each one of your tail lights. Of course, you can't do anything out here. There's no screws holding it on. It's all back here behind your felt covering if this is still in your car. So this one has this little retainer right here. So we'll go ahead and remove this just like that. I really don't like these because you know they don't seem to last all that long, but that's the only one on that side. This one, of course, has been missing in action for who knows how long. So all we're gonna do is just peel this back. And now you'll see you have access to these three hat nuts. It's kind of a weird socket size. It's an 11. All you're gonna do is get back here with a ratchet and a deep socket and just remove the three nuts from the back of the tail light not too bad so with those three removed that's all you do to gain access you can put a rag down here to prevent any scratches if you want i am going to paint this car in the future or have it painted so i'm not worried about the scratches but that's how you do, how you get to the uh, rear bulbs so let's go ahead and change so like any other bulb you just rotate and remove and then pull out of our new bulbs. I'm only going to take one out at a time and then you can make sure that they're the correct size and these are. So we'll go ahead and put them in. Just like that. And re replace this other one as well. So now we'll go in the car. Perfect, not flashing crazy. Works just fine. So I'm happy with that, reinstalls the opposite, no special tricks or anything. What I like to do with stuff like this is just start them by hand and go down nice and slowly with whatever tool you're using. I know this tool really well, so I'm not going to over torque it by any means. Just two whacks of the hammer. last one there we go so then put your carpeting back in as it's supposed to go and that's it and for those of you that are wondering the front lights are all brand new. So they've just been, the lights, the light bulbs are all brand new too. They've all but just been replaced. 